to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Some of you may remember this car here. This is the one that actually had the rattling noise in the front when they went over the pumps, which turned out to be the, uh, the ball joints and the stabilizer links. But we, we completed that, and now a customer wanted me to check the brakes on here. And it's a good thing you requested me to check the brakes because they are extremely low. Uh, I'll bring you over and I'll show you what they look like. But we're going to be replacing the brakes in here. We're going to change the shoes. We're going to change the spring kit as well because it has, uh, I think, about 120 or 130,000 miles on it. So we're going to do that. We are going to resurface the drums versus replacing them because this is probably the first time that the brakes are being done on here. All right. So uh, let me bring you over and show you what it looks like. And let's get started on it. Um, subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, give me the, uh, the big thumbs up. All right, let me show you what this looks like. All right, here's the, uh, the shoes for the back. And as you can see, there's really not a heck of a lot left on here. So uh, we're going to get a couple of tools. We're going to need basically a very uh, a large, large screwdriver, a pair of cutting pliers, another screwdriver to remove this clip right here. And, of course, we're going to clean this all up so we get all of this, uh, this uh, uh, brake dust out of here before we start doing anything. So, uh, all right, let me get started and grab some tools, and we'll come right back. Okay, just want to give you an example of what kind of tools you're going to be needing. A couple of screwdrivers, a pair of pliers, locking uh, needle nose vice grips, cutting pliers, and a screwdriver. That's all you basically need to, uh, to, to uh, do this job and complete it. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to clean off all of that, uh, that dust and debris that's in there because we don't want to be uh, breathing that and getting it all over the place. What you want to do is you want to get some brake cleaner. You want to wet the, the, the brakes down. You don't spray it real hard yet. Just wet it down very lightly. And once it's wet, then you'll increase the flow to get it out of there. Now that everything is wet, we're going to clean it off. Now we got it all cleaned off, we're going to get started. All right, what I always do before you do anything, there's a little clip right inside here that holds the parking brake on. What you do is you put your screwdriver into that parking brake area. Let me show you. To get that little clip right off there, what you do is you put this in here, like this, right in there, and then you just twist it and open it up. See how it opens that clip up, and then we'll just pry the clip back. So I'm going to do that, and uh, we'll continue on it. Okay, you get on that clip, and you just pry it, and it moves back a little bit, and then you just pry it out. Once you open it up a little bit, you just pry it back. And you just get to take the clip off. Now, we're going to change the springs, but if you weren't changing the springs, be careful because you're going to need to reuse this, uh, this clip. Now, once that clip is off, the rest of it is fairly easy. What I always do is take a pair of pliers, vice grips, and just pinch off the brake line very lightly. You don't want to crush it too much, you just want to keep the flow of fluid from going through it. So that's just enough to keep the fluid from going through. Then we want to take off this spring right here, just a pair of vice grips, a uh, pair of cutting pliers, I'm sorry. And you just take the spring and you lift it away, like that. And then you take this little clip here, off. And 
using. This we're going to need to hold on to because we're going to have to reuse it. And what I normally do is just shoot, take the adjuster and back off on the adjustment now. It'll make it a little bit easier for you. You just turn that little star wheel until it gets looser. Okay, and you'll take either your cutting pliers or your vice grips and you grab this spring here, you grab it with the pliers and you push it that way and pull it out. that and release it. We're only going to take it off right here for now. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this spring here, push that in like this on the top, push it in, and then you turn that and you take it off just like that. Right? Same thing on this side here. You just push in on the top and you turn the pin, which is just like a nail in the back of it. If it doesn't turn, then you get in here. If you can't get your fingers in the back, then you can put a pair of pliers, cutting ply, uh, needle nose pliers on it. Push in on the clip and just turn it and it'll come right off like that also. But they come off fairly easy. All right, now, you're gonna take off the, uh, the shoes. You have it disconnected already. Take it out. And then we take that spring off on the bottom right here. And we're just gonna leave this like that. And then we'll take this out with the uh, with the adjuster at the same time. And now we'll grab our new shoes and the new hardware kit and we'll start putting it back together. So let me grab the new stuff and we'll get started on it. But first, any place that the brake shoe touches, like right here, you put a little bit of lubricant on there. This is the special brake grease that's made specifically for brakes. It usually touches in three locations against the backing plate. So you want to grease it up really pretty well. Makes everything slide easier. Like that. All right. Now, this we don't have to worry about. This we're going to touch this later on. But for now, we're just going to leave that right there. Um, all right, let me grab the new shoes, and we're going to start to wrap this job up. Okay, now I just want to point this out. This is our new shoes and our new hardware kit. So we're going to use everything that's in the kit, you know, on the, uh, on the new vehicle. I just want to point this out to you. This shoe has got to make sure that you get the correct shoe. So you put, because the one shoe comes with that for the... Uh, self adjuster and the other one does not so make sure you put the shoes in the correct position where they're supposed to be alright and now we're gonna put this back together then okay I just want to point this out to you if you're going to be changing these springs make sure you put the spring on the exact same way that it came off you see that looks like it's the same way it's not you see how long this one is here see how short this one is you have to make sure you put it on the correct way this is how it belongs very important, otherwise you're not going to be able to get this job back together. All right? Now, the way you're going to do it is you're going to do it like this. This does not pull off of here, so you have to take the spring apart. So take this off for now, just set it to the side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the star adjuster and you turn it all the way out. Take it off. Don't screw it until it comes out. And then you take this piece out like that. Very important now 
don't mix up the way the springs are. See? That's the way it came out. That's the way it's going to go back in. Just as it came out. Very, very important. Otherwise, you'll never get this back together. You'll be pulling out your hair. And uh, just take that time just to make sure. All right? Then you can screw your star adjuster all the way back in. Screw it down as far as it can go. We'll adjust it later on. All the way back down. Right? Now, take the piece that you previously put to the side and just slide that back on. Alright? There's only one way it can go. This is, uh, doesn't matter which direction. This has to go to the outside. So, we're going to put this back on the shoe. As you remember, this was in the back of the shoe. So, we're going to put the spring in here. And then we're going to put this on there like that, right? And now we'll start to put it back together. Right, first thing I always do is get your parking brake lever back through here where it belongs. Put your flat washer on here, and then you put your new horseshoe clip on. Push it on as far as you can by hand. And now we're going to take a pair of pliers. And just squeeze it back in with the pliers till it's all the way into where it belongs. Once you've got it in where it belongs, then you just take the pair of pliers. I'll do this and I'll show you. Like this. Crimp it. Like that. So it won't come off. And that's how that's going to go. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these pins here. Take that pin out. Put your new pin in. Same thing on this side here. Take that out and get rid of it. Put your new pin back through here. And what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall our shoe here. And you put this over the top. Get your big screwdriver. Put it back to it once. You take your very large screwdriver and you push down on the spring and you turn it from the back. Okay, now, as some of you can tell, this is the actual the opposite side because the other side, I uh, forgot to turn my camera on to film it for you. So, all right, now we have it. We're back to the same point where we were before. We have the shoe in here. We're going to take our spring, put our spring on here like this, put a rubber shoe onto the spring and lift it up like this and we're just going to put this in here, we're not going to tighten it up yet, we're just going to push it in here so we can catch this other, this other hole down right here. Okay, you got the hole down in place. Hold it from the back with your finger. And then we'll take our clip. And we're going to hold this down with the screwdriver again while rotating the clip in the back. And then once you have it in place, if you have to use the needle nose pliers, you can do it. In this case, we don't have to because it's already in the way of where it belongs. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to reattach this spring up in the front right here that we previously took off. Now, you can do it two ways. You can do it with um, 
you can do it with vice grips, or you could do it with the cut pliers. So just make sure your star adjuster goes into where it belongs there. And then you grab a pair of cotton pliers or whatever you have, and you put this into position, and you lock it in there, and we're all set. And you hook it back on where it belongs, like that. I'll show you what I was doing. It's a little bit tight in there, but that's what I was doing. Make sure you're Make sure that your uh, your um, your adjuster here is on that parking brake lever right here, and it's on the shoe. That's what I was actually doing. All right. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to reconnect. We're going to reattach the uh, self adjuster right over here. Now the way you do that is you put this back on this pin like that. Okay. Right? And then you grab your, your new spring, hook it on here, like that. You grab your pliers, and you pull it down all the way in. All right? Now, before you, uh, before you finish this job up, you want to just look in here and make sure everything is on the way it's supposed to be. Parking brake. Is, is on here and it's crimped closed. Spring is in place. Star adjust is in place. It's on the shoe here where it belongs. The adjuster is on here. The hold down is on here. And this spring is behind the uh, little lever where it's supposed to be. That's it. We're all set. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the drums and we're going to put the drums on and adjust the brakes. I just want to point out, you have to be really careful to make sure that your springs are hooked in the way they're supposed to be and that they're all the way in as far as they're supposed to be and not just caught on the end of the spring itself. Um, obviously, this is the old spring here, but you want to make sure that the spring is not just hooked on there on the very edge like that. You want to make sure it's all the way in the way this one is right here. Very important. All right. Um, all right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, grab the drum, put the drum on, and we're going to adjust these brakes. Okay, we're back on the driver's side of the car now. All right, so now this is our, our star adjuster down here we have to adjust. The problem is, when you look in here, it's extremely tight. You have to get in here to adjust it. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to show you the way I normally do it, and uh, it's a lot easier than trying to get in through the back there because you'll never be able to. So, uh, all right, let me grab the drum and I'll show you how to do it. Now, this only works pretty much when you have a, a drum that's resurfaced. If you're trying to do it with the drum that's not resurfaced, you're going to have a problem because you have a rust lip and it's not going to go over the top of the shoe. All right, put the drum on and you spin it. There's no drag on it. So what you want to do is you want to adjust it now. And I'll show you how to do that. And the way you want to adjust it is you just take a screwdriver and you just do that. And you adjust it a little bit, just like this. Not too much. And then you'll take the drum, put the drum back on, and see if you have see if you have drag yet. A little bit of drag, but we're going to go a little bit more. It's hard to tell on these here because if some of these are four wheel, but we'll adjust a little bit more. All right, that feels good. That's it, so we're all adjusted. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go around to the other side. We're going to adjust the other side and get that all set. And uh, that's it, we're all done. All right, thanks for watching. Any questions, any comments, you need any advice, you drop me a line, I'll be more than happy to talk to you about anything. Thanks for watching, and like always, we'll see you on the next one.